Hey, hey, this is Angela Brooks, and I had um, a really interesting conversation over in my messages, and I literally took notes <laughs> on that conversation, and I wanted to bring that to you, so I have my notes here that I'm going to be referring to, but I just wanted to talk to people a little bit about um, network marketing's changed. I mean, in the last, I'm going to say since 2020, um, is when when back in 2020, you could almost sell rocks to a gravel road. I mean, there was just nothing that wasn't selling and everybody was making money because they were working, they were at home and they were looking for things to do. And then as things kind of progressed, people went back to work. Um, things got a little bit different. Uh, people's mindsets really changed. I mean, 2020 did a lot of things to people that I think it's going to take years actually for us to really know what it's. Oh, what happened? Stop, Surrey. Surrey's talking to me. That's crazy. Um, for us to really know the impact of what happened to us um, as a whole, not just me, but as a whole. Um, one of the things, that, there's three topics that I want to talk about, and that's using generalized content, which is social media, blogging, email marketing, um, another one is affiliate marketing and separation season for leaders. Those are the three topics I want to kind of talk about just a little bit. Hey, Jess. Um, where we used to hide our product on social media, you know, that was the big thing that everybody, I've been in this for a while, so I've seen tons of changes. Uh, one of the things was nobody was going to say the name of their company until you got into Messenger and they were able to tell you all about the goodness of your product there. And people got over that. They're like, I don't wanna jump in your message for you to spam me. Um, yes, you're gonna get some customers like that, but the majority of people, they just wanna know what it is that you got. Is it something they want? And they don't, they don't want the whole presentation. Um, I had a friend of mine this week hit me up in Messenger that I hadn't talked to in a while, and I'm like, hey girl, what's up? Oh, that was a wrong question to ask because she had something she want me, wanted to sell me. And I'm like, you know, I'm, stop, sorry. There we go. It keeps popping up. Um, I am very focused on where I'm working right now, and I'm not adding anything else. Actually, I am eliminating things in my business, and it feels so freeing not to have so many um, lists of, of things to do. And I've started enjoying working again which I think a lot of people got overwhelmed with thinking they had to build a funnel. They had to have, I still 100% always will say that you need an email list because um, that has continued my business several times over when things in business changed. I still had my email list. I could still speak to, you know, an easy 3,000 people without blinking an eye. Um, still had my text message list, which is, Small, but very connected, which is important, is to make sure that you're connected to your people. So, um, like I said, where we, years ago, in the last, we'll just say last five years, people were not saying the name of their company, and it was just like it was taboo to put it anywhere on your social media. And I still don't publicize my um products on social, on, especially on Facebook. I do more on LinkedIn. I do some on Instagram, but that's not what I want to people to be attracted to me for. Once they get connected to me and we find out if there's something that I've got that will serve them better, I'll bring it up. Otherwise, I'm not spamming pictures all over my, uh, all over my social media of products that I have for sale. It just doesn't work anymore. It used to, back when I got started in 2010, you could post a product and you could you know, t teach about it and people were like, I want some, and you would make a sale, just boom. Now, people wanna know what it is that you've got and if you're not willing to tell them, they're gonna leave you alone. So don't get offended when somebody says, what's the name of your company? I work with Modair. And that's, you know, I just it's just simple. What is it, hey Soraya, um, what is it that you do? And people just want to know, and then they can be triggered to go away or whether it's going to be something they want to know more about. The second thing is uh, 2023 has really shifted since 2020 is digital marketing. Um, 
reselling courses, affiliate marketing. I've done affiliate marketing for a decade. So is it a good money maker? Yes, because at the time, the affiliate program that I was using served my audience better than I personally could because I couldn't build all that out. So it worked well for me. And then I just stayed in touch with those people and worked with them that way. Now you're seeing people who are uh, these master uh, resale products where you buy somebody else's product and then they give you the right to resell it to get 100% profit. Well, if you haven't built your list and your connections and your influence, you're not going to sell that either. So the thing that people are losing um, interest in is there's people trying to sell you something, but they've never used it. They don't know a whole lot about it. And so people are like, mm, go away. I don't want your stuff. And one of the, the biggest things that people forget to do is to build the basics of their business from scratch instead of trying to sell me. The big thing, I'm not seeing as much of it on my Facebook as I was, um, and, I've, and I, I've hidden a lot of them, is if there's somebody that comes at me with high ticket sales, I'm like, go away. Because I know that you've just came into a resale product that you don't have the skills to sell yet. Um, can they? Sure, they're gonna make a few sales, but they probably aren't gonna get rich. Then they're going to ruin their influence and people aren't gonna listen to them for the next thing that they sell. Um, stand firm, just stand firm where you are and what it is that you are building. You don't have to flip through different products. You don't have to change companies all the time. Um, my last company, I was there 11 and a half years. Talking about standing firm, I was there through, a, when I started with that company, a um, order would take anywhere from two to three weeks to get to you. Why people stayed with me, I have no idea, other than just being connected to me personally. Um, an auto ship, if you had it coming out on the first, you may get it the middle of the month. It was crazy, but I was able to build an incredible group of people. Um, and you know, it, it's just shifted. It's just shifted. Um, my other big change in business, what was my third one? Oh, um, everybody's promoting the fact that you don't have to build teams. No, you don't have to. Uh, generating customer sales, uh, you can, you know, your customers can be an affiliate of your company. Most companies pretty much are uh, affiliate efforts now. And you don't have to build teams, and that's what people are promoting. However, um, you're going to get burnt out because you are generating all the customers, all the sales, all of the um, excitement around whatever it is that you have. It's when you have five or ten team members, that's when, you're, that's when you have what they call hammock lifestyle or beach the beach lifestyle, which I don't want to sit on the beach anyway, so that didn't, that didn't resonate with me, but... That is when uh, you can actually build ongoing residual income is when you've got, and, I'm, and you, it doesn't take a lot of people. Uh, most people think, oh, I can't build a team. A team can be five people. A team can be three people. It's those that are actually working, producing efforts through selling products, building other team members. And as those people grow and build, then you benefit. Um, that is just the that is just the jest of what network marketing is. So these people that are promoting, you know, you don't have to build teams. No, you don't. But you've got to accumulate a lot, a lot of customers in order for that to be an actual income. Yes, you'll get paid every day. You'll get paid whatever the time scale is. But building that team is what is going to actually generate long term income. Now this evening we have a. Um, it's called the nine to five momentum for women who are in business, who are looking for something that need a community of other women that's in this circle. Um, I really enjoy sitting and talking to my friends that are in this industry because they understand when we have conversations, it's just fun to talk about, you know, the funnels or digital sales or building teams or whatever, and it's normal conversation. But when you try to go to a group of women, anyway, anywhere 
and they're not in your field of business, they look at you like you've got horns growing out your head and it's kind of like, okay, I got to find my people. So we have built a group of women that are what we call nine to fivers. I was a nine to fivers. Actually, I was a 13 hour person. So I was a six to six, um, six to seven. But just having that community of going in and being able to ask, hey, have you ever dealt with this? I've got somebody who's asking this question. How would you answer it? Just having that that um, that community of people that understand your language, which is pretty cool. And if you want me to add you to that group, just respond to the video, send me a message, whatever. Um, we start tonight at seven o'clock. It'll last about an hour. Um, Check it out. If it's for you, awesome. If not, you can leave the group. Nobody's holding you hostage. So that is my little bit today, and I hope you all have a fantastic Monday. And if you're not on the email list, you can go to AngelaBrook.com forward slash newsletter. See ya.